Hey guys, it's Carrie from AOS Metals. We're taking on a big project this weekend. Amazon boxes have started to arrive and I need to start getting this camper back together. Uh, we got the bed, we've got a bunch of other stuff that needs to come in, so it's time to actually get to work. I went and borrowed a bunch of big tools from all my friends. So today I'm gonna work on covering up uh, this water tank and building our floating bed over it. I am going to take out this insulation. I got, <laughs> you can hear Alex in the background, he's helping me today. Uh, I'm gonna take out this insulation and I got some blue bo board I picked up today at a yard sale, got a great price on it, hit a bunch of yard Can sales I today and got a lot of really cool things. So always keep that in mind when you're looking for stuff. Um, so let's do first things first, let's take out that insulation and get building. There used to be a uh, shelf and cabinets and I've stripped the screws. So I need to, I need to get these screws out. So I'm gonna go ahead with a saw and try to get all around it and then pop those screws off. So let's see if we can get this out and maybe get these boards moved over so it fills that spot. I'm not sure what's gonna happen when I do this, but we're gonna give it a try.
take out this insulation since I have the panel down and I got some today at a garage sale. I've always been told this stuff is really gross, bad for your skin, bad to breathe. So I'm going to wear my gloves. I probably should be wearing a long sleeve shirt, but it is hot in this camper. Uh, I'll get a little bit of a breeze coming in, but you know, we're out here in the mountains and 6,000 feet closer to the sun. So it gets a little toasty. I've got my bag here and I'm just going to gently try to take this out without getting too much of a mess. I am going to put on my mask um, because I have one. Uh, I'm a metal smith, so I've got a big 3M mask that I just tangled all up. And let's get this out of here. add a two by four here um, because this whole area is going to be a bed and it's not going to be adjustable um, it's going to be like a floating bed I want to anchor it to something so I'm going to anchor it to this back wall this isn't even attached to the studs over there so I will try to throw a screw in there and see what happens but I'm going to measure the length of here and we're going to go cut my two by four and, and throw it in there Let's do it. All right, let's go set up some fun other tools I brought home today. ground in the driveway because I don't know how else to show you this uh, to where I can have the board supported because I can't stand it up in the garage it's too messy so um, I'm going to drill the holes with a K rag uh, somebody showed me this let me borrow it it's really neat um, it's gonna work really good for putting in all the bed posts to make sure make sure they're secure so what I'm going to do is I'm starting with the 2x4 we're going to use as the back brace. I'm going to put that 2x4 right in here. Here there's little slots where you can drill your hole. I've got It comes with these attachments and it comes with uh, the attachment to actually put the screw in so it goes in far. So this is going to allow me to drill an angle hole and for all you people that are out there listening and know what all this stuff is called, feel free to comment what it is. I am not a professional. If you think I am, put down the drink sober up and pay attention because I don't know. So I'm going to put the board in there and then I'm going to take the drill and just drill down right through these holes. Um, most of the boards I'm going to be using are going to be a two by two because we're trying to save on weight. So I'm just going to use this center hole that's not really centered, it's a little off center so you have to eyeball it. Um, but for the two by four I'm going to put two on each side. So I will get this set up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got this lined up in the little jig. I'm gonna press this level to hold it tight. I hope you guys can see. I'm gonna go through A and C. Oh. Calls them. 
Uh oh, there's a little split on this side. Well, let's see what's gonna happen. Are we gonna split the wood? Might. insulation in for some reason I had to cut it 30 times I don't know but I got it in I got most of it in except here this is where I talked about I want to add the 2 by 4 so it gives it a little extra support because this is going to be the support for my bed as long as as well as all the legs but um, I wanted something a little bit sturdier against this wall because this is all there is here um, the part that sucks that I kept trying to think about is I'm right in between where this board needs to be like if it could sit here, then I just can cut one piece of insulation again, but it's not. It's going to have to be moved up like three inches. Um, so once I put the wall back here, I can do my two by two on the other side of here. So it has something sturdy to go into. So I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I cut out um, with the miter saw a bunch of little three inch blocks. Um, and put the little holes in them like we did in here. What is it called? The K reg or something like that that we're going to use the screws for. So I'm going to put these in here to support it. So hopefully with this support, um, one, it's going to be easier to, to screw in while the whole, whole board is up since no one's here helping me hold it. Um, two, it'll rest on this one a little bit too, give that a little bit of support. Maybe just some backup support. I don't know if that's really support, but um, now it's time to give it a try. We've got the extension in our drill. So you see the K reg comes with a really long extension in the right point. The screws I got, uh, we've got some two and a half inch screws and
insulation back in here. Really not looking forward to cutting a piece that's an inch and a half wide. It's probably gonna break in six pieces. I know. down if that. So if you're freaking out because I'm doing this so close to the ground, it's fine. <clears throat> Alright, I got all the pieces cut. I got the new board in behind me. Very exciting moment. I thought I would get a lot further today. I did not, though having all the tools I got this morning is a giant help. Um, I was just going to nail this in, but I figured it'd be better with screws in case I needed to get back behind there again. Tearing the nails out is kind of a pain in the ass. Um, I've marked, you probably can't see it, but I've marked where my 2x4 is that I can brace the other boards on so it has a heavy brace. And I don't mind, I mean, I cut out, there was like a nail down here that was in the way. There was um, some wiring that I didn't want to mess up, so I cut a little holes um, down in the bottom. It still doesn't go down quite as far as I want to. I should probably clean that out, but God, I don't even know if I care at this point. I don't think it's gonna go down that much further. the simplest part. Um, I think honestly I'll just get some longer screws. I really should have planned out better where the boards were behind here. I thought I'd be able to feel it, um, which I can, um, but this is kind of a curved surface so the board doesn't want to bend that much. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to try to get some better screws. This side over here up here is a little deteriorated so that might not even go in. Um, all right, it is almost six o'clock on a Saturday. I'm gonna go get showered. It's almost happy hour here. Past happy hour everywhere else I know, but I've been working in the trailer all day. So, <laughs> we got a lot more work to do tomorrow. Tomorrow, 
uh, I've got somebody to come and help me. Uh, one of my friend's kids is going to come paint and I'm going to assign random jobs for him. But anyway, dude, peace out. Go get a drink. Hey everybody, I uh, got that shower I was complaining about earlier and now it's happy hour. I thought it'd be fun to have a little experiment at the end of each video and show you the different things that I do getting ready for camping. We're in a house right now, but all the things that I do to get ready for our happy hour, which we do once a week, that might be too much. Maybe we should do it every other week. No. No? Once every a week? week? Every week. We're going to do it. <laughs> and today we have new people and I'm nervous because I don't have all my regular stuff, but Tonight I'm going to show you how I make my margaritas, which everybody loves. So things to have on hand. I love the Lunazul. I usually don't get the Respirado, but it, that's all the liquor store had. So we got this. Uh, triple sec. We're doing low keto. Throw this out the window. We're not going to use that. We need <laughs> some tahini. Get that closer. You can usually find that at Walmart or grocery stores. It's usually in like the Mexican spice section. A lime. Oh, I forgot the Luke Uh We use LaCroix to help make it more keto. If you don't like sparkling seltzer, I didn't either. It took me a long time to get used to it. I started with sparkling water and kind of gave into it from there. It, it helps when it's mixed with tequila. I mean, let's be honest. Let's let's do this. Everything makes tequila it helps. Uh, let me get a knife. So I'm gonna make two: one for me and one for Jen behind me here, in front of me, somewhere. I'm hiding. She's hiding. Uh, first thing you're gonna do is you're going to rim your glass with the lime. That way, the tahini has something to stick to. Put a bunch of tahini on a plate. I know I'm gonna use lots of this tonight because margaritas are a happy hour thing that many people request. Um, sometimes they don't start with them, Jen and I do, but they usually end with them. <laughs> okay, so we've got a nice little salt room there. We've recently upgraded our glasses to these, this beautiful ballware, which I think is perfect. Another nice rim. We're gonna get a little bit of ice. Oh, dude! I hate when you leave it on water. There's water. <laughs> my oh, now the rim is bad. My ex-husband used to say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so you've upgraded then. I have. I am Chase in women form. Or I am, shouldn't say names. Anyway, uh, let's see. All right, let's start with the tequila. Because we're not using triple sec, dude, have you ever looked at the carbs in triple sec? It's like 11 per shot. Screw that. I use a third cup of tequila. You know how many carbs are in that? Zero. I mean, there's some calories, but I mean, when you're doing happy hour, who really counts calories anyway? I worked extra hard today for my calories. You saw all that work I just did on the camper, right? It's coming along, we're getting there. I'm excited. Uh, let's see, next we do a little, where's the lime thing? Ah. <laughs> okay, we found what we were looking for. <laughs> I just use one of these. Um, they have the fancy ones, you just press in there and squeeze and they're awesome, I just don't have one. Um, so I put in the tequila, we've got the ice. I'm just gonna squeeze half of a lime in each glass. I like this too, because it gives me a little arm workout. <gasps> well, unfortunately, sometimes it gets a little messy. Okay, really messy. These are juicy. <laughs> Oh God. Ow, I'm bleeding. Jen just dropped a fork on her foot and she's bleeding. Ow. We haven't even started really drinking yet. <laughs> Nobody's even here yet. They'll be here any minute. Great, and I haven't even started the food. We're getting there. Uh, and yeah, and then you just finish it off with a little cry.
The tahini really helps make it a margarita. It's still a little salty, a little spicy. It's just super yummy. And a little bit goes a long way. Cheers. Cheers. Click. Cheers. Thanks for watching our video today. It was a productive day. Tomorrow is going to be a big one too. I don't know when I'm going to run to editing all this, but thanks. See you guys. You tear me up, tear me up, up.